Tutorial number 10, the next tool in sketching. Let's start new part, start sketch, and choose the ellipse, the next tool in sketching. And there is four different types. Here in this menu, you have the ellipse, partial ellipse, parabola, and conic. Let's start an ellipse. The ellipse can be done with two directions, the horizontal and the vertical. So once you are selected your first direction or horizontal direction, then you start with your vertical dimension or vertical direction. And in this one dimensioning, you can add dimensions in these two different directions. So here's the first and second dimension. 75 and you have also relations so let's talk some relations let's deactivate the smart dimension tool select this point this point this point so when you are selecting these three points you can add a relation horizontal relation and you are done okay you define your ellipse so we are talking about the relations with the sketching so the relation is an important tool for defining and making your sketches so let's try the second type of ellipse partial ellipse we are doing partial ellipse the same idea as the arc in circle now you are done with your partial ellipse. So this is how it looks. So you are able to move your sketch if you click on that. But in this ellipse, you are not able to move it because you have a midpoint and the horizontal. We have this intersection relation or coincident with the origin. If you click that and delete it, your sketch ellipse is undefined, and you are able to move it. So let's move it again and add origin, and you notice the relation is activated. So here you can add dimension on the same way. second direction and you need one more dimension the gap in the partial ellipse select these two make a gap of 54 let's delete that let's select these two points in adding dimension the way you are moving your mouse the way you are showing the dimensions so if you make it horizontal dimensioning, you have 31.47. So if you make it parallel to the gap, so you have it 34.8. And if you make it vertical, you have 14.97. So you have to know exactly which dimension to add. If I make it parallel to the gap, I can add 35 here let's add one more relation let's make it vertical to the origin click this point this point and here you have a vertical relation this quick menu and one last dimension between the origin So you have your ellipse to fully define your ellipse fully define calculate so it is your ellipse is defined so now let's move to the next in this menu you have the parabola and the conic 
parabola is something you should be familiar with. You start with the center point of your parabola and then you start drawing it. So it's quite rare to be used unless you have some special sketches. And the next one is the conic. So you see you need four points to create your clinic. The four. So it's quite interesting way to make a clinic in the end of that rectangle. Let's make one. Instead, for example, that I'm, make, I'm making an arc. So this is a brief tutorial how to use these comics and parabola.